we will learn about CFD about what is CFD and how CFD simulates and helps in mechanical engineering CFD stands for computation fluid dynamics it's basically sub branch of fluid mechanics in fluid mechanics we will deal and we dealt with the motion and the resonance of fluid via the means of different pipes the flow and channels CFT is the simulation of fluids engineering system using modeling we say mathematical modeling equations like Newton's second law of motion D elements principle and law of conservation of mass and energy historically uh, there were two types of CFT named analytical fluid dynamics and experimental fluid dynamics now let's come to why we use CFT in mechanical engineering as you know that in mechanical design we do basically first we design our project and then we simulate and perform analysis for performing analysis we have different softwares at the back end we basically implement our CFT's equations like Navier-Stokes equations, equation of continuity, mass flow energy equation etc. So here simulation based design instead of build and test. CFD we use CFD because it is more cost effective and more rapid than EFD. And CFD provides high fidelity database for diagnosis flow field. It has different uses in the field of mechanical as well as aeronautical as well as ocean engineering as well as marine engineering now where is CFT use? CFT uses in aerospace like you may say that when aeroplane moves in sky uh, the drag force inserting and extracting on the above tail race of the aeroplane exerts the lift and drag coefficient forces it's also used in automotive engineering as well as biomedical in the implementation of different sensors, piezoelectric materials. It's also used in chemical processing plant like distillation plant, desalination units, etc. It's also a lot of uses and applications in HVAC where we check the flow simulations of different HVAC components like compressors, refrigerators, heat pumps, cooling towers, etc. It's also used in hydraulics, marine engineering, oil and gas sectors, power generation systems like in thermal nuclear power plant, their simulations, and also in the case of sports. So let's come to the modeling. What is modeling and how we implement modeling in CFD? So basically modeling is the mathematical physics problem formulation in term of continuous initial boundary value problem. What are initial boundary value problems? We learned in differential equation and also in calculus about initial boundary value problems that initial boundary value problems links with partial differential equations. And now let's come to what are the partial differential equations. These are set of differential equation in which there are more than one independent variables. So modeling include geometry. First we select the geometry and domain in which we are working. Then we select the coordinate system, whether it is in 1D, 2D, 3D, etc. Now we move forward to the governing equations. As I discussed earlier that the governing equation in case of mechanical vibration, it may be a D elements principle, Newton's second law of motion, law of conservation of energy. Now let's come to the simple geometry. Let's consider the example of circular pipe. Uh, in case the flow, fluid flow is flowing in the pipe, either the flow is laminar or, or turbulent. To check the flow, whether it is laminar or turbulent, we have Reynolds number. Reynolds number is basically the ratio of inertial forces to viscous forces. In case of open channel flow, if the value of Reynolds number is less than 2000, then we will say that overflow is laminar. If the value of Reynolds number is in between from 2000 to 400, then we will say that overflow is in, in transitional flow. And if the value of Reynolds number is above 4, 
thousand then we say that overflow is turbulent so let's come to different cat ca softwares and different types of extension files basically we draw and uh, we modeled our structure in solidworks catia or autocad and we save the file in the format of ids and then when we move to the analysis software like ansys abacus comsol etc then we import this ids format file and we starts our analysis so let's consider in the case of heat conduction equations for cylindrical for circular pipe we have basically three coordinate system that we read in heat and mass transfer that are cartesian coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system so basically this is the cartesian one as you know that in cartesian there are three axes x y z and in cylindrical there are also rotation so we have r theta and z and in spherical there are two angles that are theta and phi so we already discussed the modeling governing equation navier stoke equation so basically navier stoke equation are 3d equations that represent and that are equivalent to newton second law of motion so next we will move towards boundary condition let's consider the case of pipe flow so basically we have inlet u is equal to c and inlet velocity is equal to zero now comes towards the modeling turbulence and free surface models turbulent flows at higher and lower number usually involve both large and small scale vertical structures so basically vertical structures are the vortices that are made and that are shown across the region when we perform our analysis so let's move to the here are the example of different cfds perform on different elements this is known as legender that shows the maximum values and the minimum values of stresses and now move to different you see the different examples of cfd that we perform so here there is karman vortex shedding basically karman vortex shedding we will see in the next lecture and uh, we know that there are different types of discretization method as we already learned in finite element analysis course as you know that there were total six methods of performing finite element met method from which the first one is about discretization also known as meshing now we have different at the back end of the software there are different partial differential equations different laplace transform different operators that are used to solve the uh, analysis or our solver now uh, basically we have two domains the one is physical domain and the other one is computational domain there is a cft on the uh, you can say that it's basically naka series arrow file and uh, we have different uh, results regarding this green color show the maximum intensity of stresses and uh, the blue color show the lower values so basically we have different types of cfd codes the commercial cfd codes that are ansys fluent star c c m and the research code are cfd ship yova now this is basically the ansys software this is the ansys fluent software first we draw our geometry we also draw geometry in other cat software like solidworks uh, catia etc and then we also import our geometry here and then we also perform the analysis now we will proceed to the other forwardly